So, Strike Gundam from Gundam Universe Wave 3, he looks really nice, um, has some really nice details you can see there, um, it's just cool, the only bad thing you know about these Gundam Universe is that they're just 6 inch figures, that's the only bad thing, I wish they were a little bit more closer to Master Grade size, you know, that would have, would have been pretty awesome. But, man, he looks great. The EC-8 looks amazing as well as you can see here. They have some really nice detail, man. The EC-8 looks awesome. And you have to remember that if you're looking for some cheap 6 inch Gundam figures, these are probably the ones to go. You can always go with the Robot Damachi ones, but remember Robot Damachis are a lot more expensive. They're basically in the SH figure arts, but uh, honestly I prefer to go with the model kits. It's just fun to build Gunpla, man. It, it's just so nice. When you finish Gunpla and you customize it and everything, it, it, it just feels so personal and so unique that uh, figures like these cannot really um, get close to that feeling, honestly. And of course, Wayne Zero looks awesome, man, it looks great. Hopefully it can hold the Buster Rifle pretty good, because if you guys know, in the model kits and some of the other figures that they have released of him, um, it's always a problem with, with the Buster Rifle, it's or way too heavy, it doesn't fit in nicely, you know, it, there, there's always that, but man, he is looking pretty awesome I wish it was a little bit bigger you know because that would be perfect I mean I've been looking for a Wayne Zero but man unless you go with metal builds which are very darn expensive um it, it, it's hard to find a good Wayne Zero especially master grade size is just like the master grade the original one uh, isn't that good? The high resolution is good, but it, it, it could still be more. So, yeah, maybe one day we'll get a Wayne Zero version 2.0 um, version car or something like that, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. But overall, these are really nice figures. Um, and if you're just gonna be collecting Gundam figures, these are probably the ones to go because, like I said, they're cheap, um, they're not that difficult to find. In fact, you can buy Wave 1 and Wave 2, like right now, so there's no problems of them running out or anything like that. And honestly, you can go with Robot Damachi, like I said, you can go with Robot Damachi, but remember, that's gonna cost you a lot more. Um, and if you're planning on going Metal Build, well, good luck with that, because those guys are 250, 230, 300, depending on which one you get a pop, so that is pretty difficult, but like I said, um, Maybe I, I suggest that you have never built any Gunpla. I suggest you go with a Master Grade. Um, give it a try. Honestly, a lot of people are very intimidated about Master Grades, and heck, I cut my teeth with a Master Grade. So, after many many years of not building, I think it was over 10 years of not building a high grade. Honestly, I have never built a, a, a Master Grade before until I built my Gundam F91 2.0 and that was a really nice experience um, it's a little bit intimidating I know the hardest part is um, cutting that first runner that 
that was the hardest part here but man um, these are looking great I know a lot of people are gonna enjoy them so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time